F-16s are officially in Ukraine defending its airspace. For one of the world's fastest fighter jets, the F-16s have taken a while to get to Ukraine. Now the big question is how much of a difference the US-made aircraft can make in a grueling ground battle with Russia that has now dragged on for two and a half years. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky began pressing the Biden administration to provide his country with the advanced fighter jets soon after Russia invaded in February 2022. After years of delays, including what some saw as procrastination by Washington for fear of provoking the Kremlin, Mr. Zelensky confirmed this week that the Ukrainian-piloted fourth-generation fighter jets are now in combat. Kiev has been pushing hard, combining diplomatic and political engagement, to convince Washington and other NATO powers that the F-16s are needed to defend their airspace and protect critical infrastructure from Russian attacks. The American-made jets will supplement and eventually replace Ukraine's aging fleet of Soviet-era warplanes. F-16s are already in the skies of Ukraine, and there will be more," Zelensky said Thursday on his Telegram page. Ukraine has been asking its partners to close the skies or provide aircraft since the first day of the full-scale Russian invasion. NATO members have committed to providing at least 60 F-16s to Ukraine, though it is unclear how many are in the first batch. Analysts say they could bolster the country's multi-layered air defenses and contribute significantly to detecting and destroying Russian missiles and drones. The delays echo a familiar pattern in a war that President Biden has said from the start would not involve a direct U.S. combat presence. An outnumbered and outgunned Ukraine would plead for sophisticated Western military assets, long-range surface-to-air missiles, high-tech missile defense batteries, only to be met with delays and excuses. Eventually, in many cases, the U.S. and its allies would give in, despite Russian warnings. President Zelensky has repeatedly said that his top priority is air defense, said Becca Wasser, a senior fellow at the Center for a New American Security Think Tank in Washington. He needs more air defense to defend Ukrainian territory and Ukrainian citizens.